Are you looking for a streaming microphone that is decent with good clarity, like the Yeto Nani? Yeto Nani? The Yeto Nano, which we got right here, right now. Easy and accessible, making your life just so easy. Just plug and play, USB, as long as you've got, obviously, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, Windows 10 Anniversary, and whatever of Windows that's new. It will work with other Windows, but that means you have to find the drivers for it. It also has cardioid, which means that it's all the way around. Uh, no, don't. Cardioid means it's about 53%, 54% in front of you. So this is perfect for podcasting and everything like that. That's the whole point about it. And the price is just nice at $89.99. Might be able to get it a little bit cheaper. Link's in the description down below. So you can just click on it and take you there and purchase if you really need to. Let's get it out of the box and let's have a quick look at it anyway. Uh, because it's basically just USB. So there's no XLR for any of you, for all people that find it a bit harder to use uh, XLR, you can just use USB, especially with a laptop. I've got a laptop on the desk. Obviously, just to prove that you can just plug it in via USB and start using it straight away. GS, there we go. The Blue Shepra. Get the most out of your Yeti Nano with a Blue Shepra companion app. Features include the latest firmware updates, download, Download it directly to your Yeti Nano. Customize the mic settings from gain to polar patterns and more to come. Download Blue Shepra now at bluedesigns.com forward slash Shepra. So you do get like a little booklet anyway. Tells you a little bit of information about it going backwards and forwards and the, what the buttons do. It's a dual capsule array. Two condenser capsules enabled great sound for recording and streaming. So that's cool. Headphone volume controls, which got that. It's got a mute control in there. Uh, headphone output as well, so you can put a 3.5 millimeter jack in there. Um, it tells me about frequency responses of the polar patterns and stuff like that. And that's about it. So in the box, you obviously get the microphone that I can't get out, because uh, there we go. It's nicely padded. So I'll, I'll stick that right there for a second. USB cable, a little screw, a little big screw actually. So that's what's all included in the box. So you get this massive thumb screw. And um, I don't actually know what that is for. Um, we'll have to find out what that is for in a second. But anyway, we've got the USB cable, which is what makes your life so much easier with plug and play. A mini micro USB cable at the end. This cable must be about a metre and a half long at least. Maybe 1.8. That's what it is normally for manufacturers. It's a nice cable, it's not like um, fabric cable or anything like that, so it will last quite a long time. It is about 1.8 meters long, it's pretty long. USB 2, it works with USB 1.1, so it's reversible. USB 2 and USB 3. Anyway, I'm gonna plug this in. <gasps> what is this screw for? Oh, I know what it's screwed for, it's to connect the Yeti caster to it at the bottom. And also it's got a 3.5 millimeter jack for the headphones, so that means you can record what sounds you're listening to in your ear, in your ears. Um, put the micro USB at the bottom there, so that's no problem. I'm actually going to download the software onto this laptop because a laptop you just won't think you can do this. But when I went to VidCon the other day, they had loads of people with these microphones, but they're um, using laptops and stuff, but they weren't actually using. Or, or were they? I can't remember what microphones they were using, but they were just using, it was really weird because they had like little cameras and everything, but if, I don't know, podcasts are weird. Anyway, just looking at this little bad boy, it's really heavy, actually, the bass. It's really sturdy, it's a nice metal um, steel body. And it's got like these um, screws on the side that are plastic, but keep it nice and tight as well so you can move the microphone up and down. And I'm guessing if I press the volume, because at the moment it's green, which means go, like traffic lights. And if I press it, I reckon it'll be red, which will be mute. And that's what's happened, it's mute. It's got a nice little, very like faint, like press of the button to know that you've activated on mute or not mute. So it's very simple. Microphone's like about the same size as my hand, probably a little bit fatter. It's quite a chunky little microphone. I like the actual, um, the color of it. It's like a, it's like a chrome with a little bit of, um, what would you call chrome, that colour? It's like a, a rose chrome sort of colour, but very light, it looks really nice. It's got a blue microphone logo there. And uh, obviously at the bottom, it's got that one quarter inch thread as well. And then on the back, this is where you've got your pattern. Very simple, very easy. So you've got omnidirectional and you've got cardioid. So 
on, it's on omnidirection at the moment, which has got white light and obviously a white light as well, symboling under the symbol design of uh, omnidirectional. So you can press it pretty easy. And it's just, I don't know, this is pretty cool. You just move it backwards and forwards. Can you tighten this up a little bit more so it can't move as much? So it feels nice and tight. Yeah, you can do, that's pretty good. And you can also hang it upside down. But yes, this looks like it very well would complement your desktop pretty nicely. So at the moment, I'm just gonna go right into that Shepra uh, Blue Mics. Let's download. So we can download from Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Windows 10. Mac operating system 10.11 or higher. So that's pretty cool. Let's um, download Windows and let's get that going. The latest firmware updates downloaded directly to Yeto Nano. And it's pretty simple. It's a weird name though, Shepra. I don't know what that name's about, but um, let's wait until it downloads. So I've got the app up and this is by Blue Microphone Shepra app, which got home there and Yeti Nano and it's obviously got register here, um, but I can't really make it any bigger. It's really damn small. Check updates. So I can check updates. Shepra is up to date. So I click into here and firmware updates available for this thing from four to 4.5. Okay, I thought you said it was up to date. So this is pretty cool. I like this. So your device is now up to date. Okay. Then I click into there, so you've got to identify the number. Look at that. See the microphone is right up there. Um, I can turn the volume up as well with the gain, turn it down. Um, mic gain, I can turn that up. So if, if I'm from a further distance like I am now, that's picking up my voice like near enough, that's peaking. So if I bring it down a bit. <coughs> <coughs> So uh, this is what my normal voice would be like when I'm talking. So I need to turn it up a little bit so we can hear me. And that's, that's how it is. That's cardioid. So omnidirectional. So I click omnidirectional. Woo! Click from behind. Click from the side. Click from that side. Click from the front. So basically I've got some gaming headsets um, on my head because I forgot you've got to plug in the 3.5 mm jack into the microphone to listen to the playback in your ears. And yeah, you can literally hear the sound. It sounds very good quality. I had it up a little bit too loud where it started to do a little bit of hiss. But what I'm going to do is give you a demonstration by putting it in Adobe Editions and speaking in, in that and then putting it in the video so you can literally hear what my voice sounds like with the microphone on. Um, I'll try and find the best clarity of sound and then obviously listen to it and give you my honest feedback. But technically, won't be able to tell you that until I've obviously recorded it on there. So once I record it on there, I'll let you know if this is a good microphone or not a good microphone for 90 pound. Let me turn it around, because I'm speaking at a normal voice level right now, and hopefully this sounds really nice and crisp and clean for you. Pick, 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 pick up a penguin. <laughs> so yeah, that sounds pretty good to well i can't really hear it at the moment because i ain't even got the microphone plugged into it so now i'm going to turn it to omnidirectional so what does this sound like ladies and gentlemen does it sound good i hope it does i'm going to speak from the left hand side of the microphone which i am about 40 centimeters away i'm going to speak to the right hand side of the microwave microwave of the microphone i'm 40 centimeters away from that way right so do i recommend this microphone yes i do recommend this microphone because it is really clean and clear but it's not as good as the yeti caster well the yeti caster is basically like a streaming force of a arm and obviously uh, a spring mount for the microphone but yes this can go into that spring arm as well so it makes it compatible which gives it more of a higher recommendation the microphone aesthetically looks really nice it's not too big it's really chunky it's got two obviously microphones in there and um, the sound quality is really good it's still i still prefer the um, other microphone by blue and i can't really remember what it is i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it I actually prefer this microphone a lot more because the quality is nicer, but yeah, the price is obviously a little bit more as well. It's a lot more chunkier and a little bit more things you can do. But technically, if you're gonna use it for podcasting and obviously conference calls, that's the microphone for you. It's just really simple and easy. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you what one it was. So this is the Yeti Blackout. So if you're looking for a, a microphone that's a little bit more clear in, in sound, um, and you need more for more your needs like that that one does then go with that one But if not go with that one because it's cheaper, but it's also got the clarity of sound 
I got some gripes with the app, Blue Incorporated uh, Blue Microphone. Like basically, your app is very too it's, it's too small. It does not scale up very well with Windows. Um, I like the idea of what you're trying to do, and it's good that you can go from just clicking um, on an app. Uh, and then it moves the light from one cardioid to omnidirectional. I like that. And I like the fact that you can make it mute and stuff and you can do the gain on there and all that, all just through the app. But you can't really see it. It, it needs to be able to scale up and be able to like uh, scale up and down and obviously uh, minimize. I think it can minimize, but it can't scale up. And I do like the fact that you've got the firmware update. So, so basically, it just needs a little bit more improvements. So I do like the little social media platform thing down the bottom and obviously SoundCloud cloud as well. Yeah, I do like it, especially when it's all connected. It makes it life more simpler. Anyway, hope this was in depth and formal enough for you, because if it was, leave it in the comments down below. Say, Roger, you've done a good job. Roger, you've done a good job. Don't actually do that, because that's just a bit weird. And anyway, but other than that, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We do everything with computers, laptops, monitors, cameras, more microphones, more microphones, more microphones. We do everything, basically, and mobile phones sometimes, and headphones, and, yeah, and uh, mouse, and keep, yeah. The list just goes on. So hit that notification bell if you want to be continuing to listen to me, not rant, but obviously talk about good stuff. And, uh, yeah, sometimes we do competitions. Anyway, what I was going to say, merch store down below if you want to support maxed out buying some clothing and all that that goes a long way and uh, subscribe as i said notification bell and all that sort of oh, like, you know. anyway like dislike if you like the video and i'll see you next one thanks for watching roger and freaking out and um, hello